Yo, so guys, today's one of those like colder days, so I figured I'd use it to catch up on a little bit of editing. So, this video that you're about to watch today is one of those videos where I had my kayak in the back of the truck, and then I had my GoPro in the truck too, and I was like, I should stop here and fish for a minute. So, it really wasn't a planned fishing trip, I didn't have a plan for the video, I was like, I want to stop here and fish. So, I did that, and I got on a few fish. So, here comes the video now. Alright guys, we are out here on this beautiful lake. You might notice it from the last video, I just... I've been having the urge to film with the, or to use this ever since I got it and I just haven't been able to. Just one, because you know the fish don't always want to cooperate and then two, you just you just know how it goes. But we're having warm days now. We're getting back to where we can catch fish and we're not letting off of them until it gets cold again or until they just stop biting. Honestly, next year I might just move to South Florida whenever it gets cold in Alabama so I don't have to miss out. But this war pig, it is a lipless crankbait. I guess I can show y'all next time I bring it in, or when I, when it comes in, I'll show y'all. That's the war pig. So. It's like in a natural color too. It's like in a shad-ish color, so. Oh guys, we got fish number one. <laughs> he is a squeaker. Oh guys, we got fish number one on the war pig. Of course I catch a fish oh, around the power line. Of course. Of course. <laughs> I was like wrapped in the power line, of course. That's how it works. Every time. Two little dinks we're getting we're going in the right direction though we got two little dinks on the grass pig we like backed up because we bumped into the power line we back up and of course we catch a fish like i'm trying to burn it in so i can get out of the way of the power line and of course the fish wanted it too so oh I thought that was a fish at first. Good one, but I don't think it is. Oh, it came off. How about that? We'll take that. Oh, there's one. Maybe. I think that might be a stick. Hey, we did a good job that time of deciphering a fish from a stick. Oh, there's one. That's a good one. I saw him eat it. Oh, that is actually a really good one. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Just take all the line you want to, buddy. Oh, that's not. See, at least I didn't freak out and say he's my PB. But, guys, I'm telling you, he's fishing here fighting so hard. It's impossible to know. That's a good two or three, though. All day. Yeah, that's a good one. All day. This has got fish number, what is that? Four, three, four on hook. We're going to weigh it, but we need to go ahead and let him go. It took us a minute to get the hook out of him. Oh, he hit the kayak <laughs> on the way out. All right. It's fun. Oh, there's another one. Fish number five, I want to say. Fish number five. All right, go ahead and let him go. Thanks for playing. All dinkers so far, except for that one. I mean, they're not, yeah, that's a dink, but <laughs> that last one was a decent one. It was a pretty dink. We haven't caught a nice two or three pounder. It's coming though, I'm sure. See you. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are here with Greg Dalton and Hayden. What's up guys? All right, so me and Greg just went to a little local tackle shop and bought Dalton some fishing tackle, but we came out to the pond and he's here with Hayden. Hayden actually commented on one of my 
TikToks that I haven't seen, but I'm gonna go check it out after this. And we're gonna be doing a little three versus one challenge because we think Greg is that good of an angler. God dog on right. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm giving Greg my kayak. Greg's gonna be on the kayak today, and me, Dalton, and Hayden are gonna be on the little John boat. Hayden said he caught 20 this morning. I don't doubt that at all because I've been catching a lot, and it's starting to get to that like first warm week in Alabama. Normally, the fishing gets really good. Hopefully, between the three of us, we can catch a lot more fish than Greg. That's the only goal. We don't care about how many fish we catch. We just want to catch more than Greg. And the more, hopefully, we can catch like 50 or 60 more than Greg. <laughs> That's all we want to do. Sound like a little what, what's, the, what's the goal for today? Just catch more fish than Greg. Catch more fish than Greg. What's the, catch more fish than all right, Greg. That's all. all right. For sure. All right, yeah. Guys, we have a lot of area to fish. This pond is quite large. So, yeah, we do have two ponds out here. So, hopefully, all we have to do is just catch more fish than Greg. That's goal number one. And then goal number two is to catch more fish. Or just to catch fish. Greg has to go to work in about an hour. So, we need to hustle. Stay tuned. We'll be on some big mouth oh, bass. Yeah, guys, don't, 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 um, go check your boy out. The video with well, me and Larry went in the Sims because y'all know y'all love seeing Larry. Um, <laughs> well, y'all can see y'all check that video out. Me and Player, we went to go get Dalton. Here, rod, rod without him rod and some gear. Yeah. So if y'all want to see that video, y'all gonna check me out at 205 Country Cuts. Don't forget 205 Country Cuts one more time. 205 Country Cuts. Not your favorite, but your Country Cuts. Oh, we are in the money now. All of our lures and tackle and everything are ready to go. I think I'm gonna start off with the little frit side. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's one. Oh! Oh! Ho, ho. Yeah, Greg, we got fish number one on the hey, flute worm. Is that weightless? Yeah, it's weightless, it's like weightless you told me. Him. But he's fishing I, I Guggen. I told him to use weightless worms. Hayden's fishing Guggen. Greg's over here struggling to catch his first fish. But Guggen. first cast. First cast weightless, right? First cast weightless. Yeah, exactly. Y'all gonna make me do it. I didn't want to do it. Now I gotta do it. No, nah, I'd stay weighted, honestly. You might catch the big one. Yeah, dude. There's probably a big one over there that wants to weight it. Fish number one, little dink, but we'll take it. We will take it. I think that is a fish. Yeah. There, he is. there he is. Good job, Wayne. Thank you. Dude, I think it's a big one. Where's he at? No, I'm just kidding. Oh! Oh! It's a 12 pounder. Oh, that is a. Look how, look how light he is. All right, guys, that's fish number two. Little dink. Dalton was telling me that his granddad caught an eight, you said, out of here earlier? Um, yeah, last night. Yeah. It's all right, I'll just tell him. You said an eight last night? And it's about this time. Yesterday? Yeah. Dang, so there's an eight out here somewhere swimming, so. Oh, gotta go, eight gotta go through these dinks, I guess, to get to the eight. See you later. All right, guys, welcome back. All right, so um, we have a, I have a little bit of explaining to do for Greg. The video's probably not up on Greg's channel yet, but you're going to have to go check it out. I'll have it posted on my Instagram story, so be tuned for that. Greg flipped my kayak. Greg is the first person to flip my kayak. I was teasing Greg. I actually teased Greg on my Instagram story. I was like, go flip the kayak, bro, because I'm not sure if he's ever been on a kayak before, but I let him use mine when we were doing the little fishing challenge, the three versus one. He flips it. I was We were teasing him the whole day. <laughs> We were teasing them the whole day, guys. Our boat, we had like eight fish in the boat. No, I think we we're at seven. Greg had like two that came off. Greg had like a nice two, maybe three pound fish that came off like right at the kayak. So we were just giving them crap for that. You know, just having fun, just talking crap, having fun. And we go to like a different part of the pond, we're fishing it. And I turn around and the kayak flipped over and I see Greg standing, like luckily you can touch the bottom. So I see Greg standing beside the kayak and it hasn't like registered me. registered to me. I was like, what is Greg doing in the water? And then like I blink and he's like trying to push the kayak back up. I'm like, Greg, you did it. You did it. <laughs> but luckily for Greg, one thing that we always talk about is always have your camera on no matter what. If anything good, bad, anything like that happens, always have the camera on. So luckily, he has it on camera. Bad thing is, he doesn't have a rod, or he lost two rods, one of which was like a Corrado DC, kind of expensive, and a phone. But more good news is we went back out a couple days later. We took the magnet. My magnets, when I was doing the magnet fishing, I had a couple left over. Took a magnet out, found the rod, found one rod, but it wasn't the Corrado. It was a spinning die well, I want to say but I mean it's still better than that. So he lost two rods in a phone. Got another phone today as I'm recording this he just takes me and said he got a phone. So he's back with one rod and a phone. So hopefully we can go out and maybe catch the Corrado one day. As far as that phone the phone's probably the phone's probably just okay guys so that is story number one for this video. Story number two I'm not I don't know if I should show y'all this or not but I got these in the mail. This company DM'd me a while back and I've never seen anything like this before and I'm not sure if I should really show y'all but I can't I can't keep this to myself. I'm gonna do a video with these and 
when I do, you're gonna like, it's gonna knock your socks off. Let me get situated. Let me get situated before I start. I was gonna unbox them on camera, but you know, I'm like the most impatient person in the world and I couldn't wait to unbox them, so. I know, right? I know. Yes, you are saying that, right? I have some more stuff, but I'm not going to show it all to you. I can't I can't give you all all the sauce because when I drop this video, guys, you're going to want to watch it. I'm waiting on the fishing to get just a little bit better than what it is now to do this. But the challenge that I have planned for these lures, it's not an A-Rig. I just thought about that looking at it. These would be really cool for an A-Rig. But the challenge that I have planned for these little person figure lures, I don't know what they are, but when I put these on a hook and a fish sees this, in theory, this is a fish's chance to get back at all the times. Get back at somebody for being caught. And it's gonna be able to get back at this instead of like a real person. But when I saw these, when the company DM me and I saw it, I was like, there's no way those are real. But this is probably, probably the craziest soft plastic lure I've ever seen. No, without a doubt, this is the craziest soft plastic lure I, I've ever seen. And I'm not sure how you rig it. Do you Texas rig it? Do you swim it like a swim bait? And is it a trailer? What do you What do you think? Comment down below. What do you do with this? Do you just straight Texas? I'm. Let me hold it a different way. It's kind of kind of weird where I was holding it. But do I Texas rig it? Do I put it on like a weighted swim bait hook? What do I What do I do with it? Look at them. <laughs> Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video today. That fishing trip, like nothing in today's video is really planned. I hope you enjoyed today's video guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. I just did a poll on my Instagram and said, if I did like a soft plastic video a week, would y'all want to watch that? I did a couple over Vlogmas and they didn't really do too good. I did a lot of soft plastic videos actually over Vlogmas. But I now officially have some new molds coming in. They should be here in a week or two, maybe two, three weeks. That'll be some new fresh content so I don't just have stick baits to make. I can make some lizards, bugs. I'm no, I'm saying too much saying too much but anyway guys stay tuned for that we have some more molds coming in i'll probably i'll do an unboxing video of my new molds and then after that you're gonna have to let me know what you think about it and if you want to see me do some more videos with it but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed today's video thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today i will see y'all in the next video we have some big things coming up on the channel here in the next few weeks we have some big trips planned some fun stuff it's starting to get warm all across the country so that opens up the door for us just to travel anywhere we want to go and it doesn't just have to be south florida to catch big mouth bass so I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. I will see y'all on the next video. Fish and and have a good day.